Hello and welcome to today's programme. I'm Ellen. And I'm Courtney. In January of this year, Mrs Muirhead and three of our pupils travelled to Messiah College in Pennsylvania to take part in Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. We will tell you a little bit more about Martin Luther King Jr. later in the programme. This week, we've had students from Messiah College with us. They're here on their spring break for a service learning missions trip. This means they're serving us in some way and, at the same time, learning about our country and culture. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on the 15th of January 1929. He was very interested in civil rights and became best known for his role in the advancement of it. He used nonviolent civil disobedience based on his Christian beliefs. At the time Martin Luther King was growing up, the USA was a very different place. Segregate, there was a lot of segregation based on race and skin colour. Shops, restaurants, buses, schools and even public toilets were separate. Martin Luther King Jr. decided to stand up for what he believed was right and campaigned to change the world for the better. In a few minutes, we will see a short film shot by the pupils in Pennsylvania in January. You will see some of the things they got up to on MLK Day. First, we would like to ask our three people to tell us about some of their highlights. Rebecca? Well, my favourite bit was meeting Dr. Roberts after chapel and he was in the Little Rock Nine. Jodie? My favourite was church. Chloe? Mine was probably the Martin Luther King Day of Service. We have also had some of the Messiah students with us in the studio. You're very welcome to LJHS. So, can you tell us about your highlights from this week? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, I'd just like to start and say that I really enjoyed meeting a lot of the guys here. Um, and I really liked watching the rugby game today. It was awesome. You guys did great. Uh, my favorite part was going to the North Coast and just seeing your beautiful country. I really enjoyed being in the classroom with everybody and getting to know all the students and play fun games. Oh, that's a choke. For me, it was um, Giants Causeway and just how beautiful it was. And obviously, like meeting all of you guys and um, everyone in the school was really fun. Yeah, mine was also traveling around to Giants Causeway and hanging out with you guys for weeks. I have loved going to Tesco and Spar and trying all of the different treats and biscuits that you have here. <laughs> my favorite part was going to lunch with uh, Kyle and these beautiful ladies, and then my second lunch crew was pretty fun too. I'm really thankful for all the teachers that have spent time helping to host us and feeding us meals. I had so much fun playing all the games that we got to do with you guys and getting to know you and trying to remember names. <laughs> much like Caitlin, I really enjoyed um, playing the games with you and uh, also I really liked going to the rugby practice the other uh, after school the other day. And I enjoyed just hanging out with the students at lunch and just in between breaks and yelling at kids in hallways. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Now, let's watch the film of our pupils in Pennsylvania. like us. See, 340 years we have waited for both constitutional and God-given rights for us. Do not take segregation lying down or go so easily into that good night. We will not let old Jim Crow win or steamroll this cause without a fight. And at that time, you know, black people weren't supposed to be prosperous. So we learned a lot in doing that. So 
and it's hard to understand how people carry that kind of anger and hate in their hearts, you know, for generations and generations and generations. So, um, did you get a chance to talk with any of the students from SciTech? I know that you were Skyping, yeah. or you were corresponding with yeah. them. Yeah. So. My name's Caitlin. Hello. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what you're doing here today? Um, I'm serving for MLK Day, so by doing that, we, um, as a group, all came to Downey Elementary School, mm -hmm. and basically we're serving them for the day, yes. and they told us that they needed us to paint, so here we are painting. Is it your first time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, doing an MLK service day. Yeah. How's it been so far? It's been good. Didn't get paint all over myself, so it's a so success. A yes. And but what really is this? How did this day come about? Oh, that's a good question. Um. Well, basically, I'm okay. Martin Luther King. It's a pretty awesome dude. Yeah. Um, and he okay. went to make everything equal for everybody, and um, he had this big dream that everybody could work together. And be in community with one another, regardless of their race and how they identified themselves. And so I see this day as kind of a day to commemorate his dream that we could all work together, regardless of our backgrounds and our ethnicities. <laughs> that the students here at Downey has, um, has, has traced for us. So we're cutting them out, laminating them, um, putting them on strings, and then they will be hung out in the hallway. We've been busy and doing this for about two hours now. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Christina. Hi, Christina. How did you get involved today with the day of service? I got involved through Messiah College and just um, signing up online just to do a day of service on MLK Day and just finding projects that I'm interested in. Why is service important to you? Um, service is important to do not only this day but every day just because it's a selfless act just to help out a community that I'm a part of. as we can donated um, from local paint stores and um, things like that, but um, this time we got a grant from United Way, which is a non-profit, so we were able to go to um, big appliance stores like Home Depot and buy a lot of the stuff, which turned out to be a lot more expensive than we anticipated it to be, but that's where it comes from. And in some ways, that's like the way the company gets involved in this day, so they can't maybe send their employees, but they can give us supplies, and they can help the school by giving services and things like that. So that's their form of service. So um, Downey and Messiah have a partnership called Together for Tomorrow, um, which you guys have heard about. But um, So this is one way that we get Messiah students actually involved by bringing them here to Downey um, to see the school, to get to see what's going on. In the beginning, we did a big orientation um, on what what we're doing and how they can get involved in more ways. So um, that's one of the ways we're bringing students and getting them involved and getting them excited and hopefully coming back to help with after school program and a big block party and other service day projects. You know, and our, our partnership is a long term partnership, so it's not just today. It's something that we're trying to develop for, for many years to come. And a lot of that is getting students involved with the classes that they're, they're taking. They can come and actually learn while they're serving here. We have a lot of student teachers that are here, and we'll talk to some of them a little bit later. But they've learned here, and then one of them, his name is Luke, he's gotten a job here just recently. Um, so there's lots of ways that we're. I graduated building. from Messiah yeah. last year, so. So now, now Allison here. is here and working to get other people involved. She's a great example. I'm 
mean I love it. I'm a black. B L A C K. Can you spell? B stands for black. L stands for love. A stands for African American. C stands for culture. And K stands for kind black people. I don't want to slow you down, so let's get back to what I was saying. I am a black woman. But it never expected MLK there to be as good as it was. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that, you know, it was only going to be a few speaker, uh, speakers. They're going to just talk about Martin Luther. But really, they were talking about, like, their own personal situations, about what they had experienced, which was really interesting and quite, you know, touching because you saw what their life was like throughout those times and how ra racial and like comments can really hurt people and how hatred and people can really influ influence. So you didn't expect that? No. Well, I find it really like it's really inspirational to see so many people coming together as one to serve like their community as a day on not a day off and it's also like not disappointing you know if you know what I mean because at home there's nothing like that and it'd be really nice to see something like that because it was lovely just to see everybody come together. It doesn't matter what colour they are, where they come from, what they believe, they all just came together anyway and okay. just done whatever, like painted her. Yeah. So far our conversations about our faith has been with Sean and he just said like something that's always stuck in my head, who cares what other things, like I said how can you be so open, like I would never be that open and I've grew more like to be more open because it doesn't really matter, that's what he said, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, it just matters what God thinks and if you're doing it in his will, who cares if someone judge, judges you for it. I keep thinking about whenever Dr. Roberts came and spoke to us because being part of like the Little Rock Nine, the nine black people allowed into a white school, that's really like life changing really for them. And the fact that they had to have military surrounding them because there was so much hatred towards them, I just keep thinking of, like the divide at home as well between Catholics and Protestants and how we should like he got past that and it was a lot worse than, like he had to have a bodyguard at school every day. So I think we should be able to get past that at home as well. So I just keep thinking about what he said. Hello. That was great. Thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank Thank you.